Hello, hello. It's been a long while since I've done a tutorial video or uploaded any video at all for that matter. But yeah, seems like my last Glow tutorial video was uh, outdated because Unity has had some updates since then. I mean, it was a year old anyway, and now they have a new version. I'm using the 2022.2. That's where all the major changes came in. Just a quick mental note here, okay? It's best that whenever you create a project in Unity, you always click urp either 2d urp or 3d urp it's because if you click on 3d it won't come with the urp asset and you're gonna have to manually download it you're gonna have to download it anyway in the long run because you need better graphics you can't have ass looking games 3d will only help you get ass looking games so it's always good to start off with urp and get used to it go over here just name it glow project yeah just create the project it's gonna take a while to start up and that's all you have to do to start off i suggest you just uh Go over here if you have Universal Render Pipeline downloaded, okay? If you don't have Universal Render Pipeline downloaded, you could just go to Windows Package Manager. Go here and search for Universal RP. And yeah, you need to have this downloaded, okay? Uh, I did it in my last video too, and in this video as well. Just go to Package Manager, search Universal RP, get that downloaded. Okay, once you have the downloaded, you'll have Universal Ender Pipeline set up, alright? If that doesn't work, just go look up a video. I'm pretty sure that should work, but if you have any issues, just look up a video, you'll find it. Let's create a folder here, and let's call it the... I'm gonna go over to our hierarchy and set up the cubes for demonstration. So this could be the regular cube and this could be the glow cube this is the cube we're gonna add glow at so separate that real quick now we've got our cubes right let's position our camera too uh, it's it only shows up in game view now for some reason i don't know why but uh you're gonna have to stick with it it won't show in the scene view but it'll work in game view that's all that matters because the player is gonna be playing the game and not the scene gonna have to go over here and uh hierarchy go to volume global volume and I like to call this post processing because essentially that's all it is. You're gonna go all the way over to volume towards the right, click on new, and you're gonna add an override. This is where all the post processing comes in. Like, that's why I named it because all the post processing is here. So you go over here, you could find anything you want, but for me, I'm gonna click on bloom. There's lots of post processing you could do to make a game look better, but right now we're doing bloom to add glow. All right, add bloom boom check that up and if you raise the intensity you'll see that it doesn't work now that's because uh there's a sneaky little button here go to your camera main camera the one that you're seeing everything at go to rendering and you'll see post processing you have to click this you see that once you click this it's going to activate the glow now the more you raise it the more glow it is otherwise it's not i like to set it to a minuscule value like 0.1 to make no difference at all you're going to see later why i did that okay so uh on to the next step you're going to have to go to create make a folder let's call this material right you're going to go ahead and create a material let's call this glow let's go here and leave the base map you're gonna take emission on this okay let's put this down on a cube first yeah this one all right you're gonna leave the base map you're gonna turn emission on then you're gonna set it to whatever color you want and same goes over here go set it to the color you want okay once th that's the base map this is going to be the color of the emission so perhaps it's dark orange here and the emission is going to be this color right so you could just add one or two now you're going to see it grows lighter but glow is not there right gonna go over here perhaps add more and now it's visible so you're going to mess with the emission intensity over here not in the main glow look at that you can change it completely to whatever you want now that glow is completely visible you won't see it here that's an issue or perhaps a bug maybe if this video helped you out in any way shape or form make sure to leave a like and subscribe because essentially they're just free and i'll help you out making your games there's nothing to lose you're just gonna get better games better quality games better content and all you have to do is subscribe plus it's free there's nothing you can lose so just go ahead and do it